Greetings, everyone. Wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy guide astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the Scorpio full moon for you fire signs. If you are an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and then this video is for none other than you. Now, I do want to let you know that this is a big full moon. If you haven't already seen the videos I've done on this topic, I've done several videos on just the full moon in Scorpio alone. So do check that out if that is of interest and you want to learn more about the energy of the lunation itself before you get into the specifics of your chart. Okay, cool. And that's going to tell you more about like the collective and stuff. Also, if you've been staring at these charts, like, what does this all really mean? I want to know. I know there's more here. Tell me more about how to do this myself. I'm offering a course and we start late May. So it's literally right around the corner. I'm enrolling people who are about the energy and in alignment with this course. And this is for high vibe beings who are dedicated and um, really want to learn this skill. At the end of this, you're going to be able to read your natal chart. You're going to be able to read the chart of anybody and everybody around you, your friends, your family, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And read their relationships amidst themselves using synastry. You'll also see how your chart translates to geography across a nation, across the world. Okay. There's going to be so many dope skills that I'm sharing with students, and I'm really excited to welcome the right people. If you're the right people, you better get your booty in. Call using a link down below. I will call you based on a scheduled time, and we will talk about these details, okay? Awesome. Um, and that's, again, starting in like a month, so please make sure you're going to make it because I don't want to start a bunch of people late. It's, it's just not fun. It's not fun. You know, you miss a week or two. It's just, it's not as good. It's not as good. All right, cool. So um, yeah, you can also see what my students say, by the way, about their experience by clicking a link somewhere up in her. Let's dive into the full moon now in Scorpio for fire signs. And we're going to start with Sagittarius. So if you are a Sag, Ascendant, Sun, or Moon, then this video is for you, this portion here. So Sag, this full moon is going to be happening in your 12th house. Holy freaking guacamole. This is intense. Why is this intense? I'm so glad you asked. It's intense because the 12th house is a place of retreat. So you're like, what, I'm going to be like intensely alone? Maybe, Sagittarius. But also it's a place of uh, spiritual like isolation and transformation. So through a place of like dreams, like deep dreams, subconscious purges are happening. Okay, Sag, you're going through deep subconscious um, awarenesses as well. You might realize something about your subconscious where you look at that and you're like, damn, I just got dizzy thinking about it. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the, the vibe of um a full moon in the 12th house in scorpio and it's just going to be like a very clear awareness of what is subconsciously hidden and it might suddenly come to light and kind of freak you out and also it might be about something in the sixth house because of all this crazy stellium energy one two three four points okay if we're counting the modern planet of uranus and we also have Lilith at the party. So hello, this is definitely worthy of paying attention to. Um, and it's opposing the moon and this awareness of your spiritual self and the spiritual transformation, right, Sag? So this is all coming from that sixth house of bad habits. Oh, snap. Your bad habits might do you in for a big loss. Understand, you might be realizing right now that these bad habits ought to know where, bam, they surprise you and you get a big loss and that sucks. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if that's the case, but I'm also trying to say, hey, forearmed, forewarned is forearmed. So make sure that um, you get on it now. If you know there's a bad habit that you've been doing that you need to like put the brakes on, put the brakes on it because the lunation is happening on the 27th, the night of the 26th, which is a Monday, okay, uh, of April, just here in a few days, really, like less than a week away. So just be thinking about that, Sag. Like, what are you doing with your habits? What are you doing on the daily? These are things you do daily, sixth house, okay? What do you do at work? What do you do in your work environment? What do you do every day before you go to work, after you go to work, okay? What are you doing just in life regularly that is consistent? What is habitual in your life? Also, 
like um with pets i hope that it's not the case but you might find that crazy things happen with pets out of nowhere so just like you know um try to give them extra love at this time and just like nourish their aura with good vibes or whatever like um just a recommendation just because that sixth house is being illuminated by uranus and you know that's spontaneous events so just um you know be aware that that's a possibility and oh i'm so sorry that was like really loud damn that's like not pleasant sorry about that um but yeah it's just illumination is happening in that sixth house so you're definitely like coming to an epiphany maybe it's how you need to treat your pets or what you need to feed your pets maybe you're like hold on i need to do this like like par cooked like just plain meat thing and you're like you know you're a cat owner because they need the meat they're not unfortunately omnivores or herbivores so maybe it's something like that or maybe it's like for your dog you're like oh my gosh i'm gonna like help my dog go like plant-based and cook all their food and like with this awesome new resource i found and that's going to really improve the quality of their health or something like that you could have some kind of innovative like quirky insight like that you know what i mean um under this with the sixth house all this uranus betas the sun you know just energy and um yeah it could all come to you from a place of like retreat or meditation or isolated research 12th house you might be like up on the internet researching real deep on a topic one night and find this you know information this can totally happen over the next month like mark my words i feel like y'all are gonna find yourself sitting there doing that like laughing because i said it you know like in this video <laughs> okay something to watch out for sag i just want to make you aware of is that mars just moved into your eighth house at this lunation and that's since the most recent lunation also remember i talked about this new moon in aries did you see your forecast for that i talked about creation for you sagittarius and how y'all were the most called to create out of all the signs and i hope that you took my advice because you're about to see some huge transformative um you know births of that uh whatever effort you put in because this is the lunation that is the waxed version the completed version and this is bringing you spiritual gifts and even far away travels for some sagittarius people like global travel like you know i don't know what's going on with it different there's different things for different places you know what i'm saying but like you could be globe drawn and you could find yourself back in that thing and it's like in a spiritual purpose like for a spiritual retreat or something of that sort sagittarius um also again like the gifts are coming from that yeah be aware with mars though um in the eighth just death transformation you know don't do anything that could cause death for yourself or others um you're called to transform though right now you know with that temporary two-month influence of mars and cancer um, so do transform, use that to transform and heal and go into the hidden knowledge bases of yourself. That's what eighth house cancer is all about, Sagittarius. So yeah, I think you're going to find yourself more drawn to the occult throughout the next month. I think that's like without saying, like looking at this chart, I'm like, oh my God, except I had to say it to articulate it. So whatever, but yeah, you're, you're definitely into like the witchy shit. So enjoy that. Thanks, Sagittarius, for showing me some love back after that dope ass report and hitting the like button. And everybody who comments, I also appreciate those. And um, subscribes, of course, because if you vibe, why not? We is building the tribe here on the YouTube. And yeah, if you want to learn astrology once and for all, who else would you want to learn with? I mean, really. No, that said, Sagittarius, I am offering the course and you can schedule your consultation call today using the link down below. Cool. Thanks, Sag. Moving on to who we gonna go to? Aries. Is it you? It's you, Aries. We're gonna just we're gonna check out your chart. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, we're gonna just move to that. Pretend like you're a late degree Aries or not, because you know, that's cool. We read whole signs as well around here, okay? So anyway, you're Aries, ascendant sun and moon. This is for you, okay. 
this full moon is in your eighth house this is quintessentially the time to transform you got to transform something to do with exactly yourself okay we just had a new moon in aries did you see the forecast i did for you for that it was pretty though this is all about yourself a new beginning with you aries self it couldn't be any more straightforward literally now with that said fast forward two weeks we got a full moon that's a culmination kiddos in the eighth house of transformation of everything that changes from one state to another everything that is you know something that once was something else so you got to go deep into like what this means for you this is spiritual transformation it's the place that you had a loss or a trauma or a death that you have to transform from and turn into the creative power, turn into the creative ability, okay? This is a full moon in the eighth house. So also like you might find yourself drawn more to the occult, similarly to what I was saying in some regards for Sagittarius. So if anybody has any double overlap there, that's gonna be huge um, for you, huge theme. But definitely like um, transforming through like occult practice, like ritual can be super helpful and powerful right now, Aries. Um, for yourself and you know this is in a home environment and on topics of things that serve you um in the home so what i'm what i'm saying is like from the home you can create a lot of different good things right now aries from the private home environment you can create this really just like powerful transformation for yourself through whatever the eighth house is for you whether you're processing a death or a loss or you're doing ritual or a combination of everything or you're diving deep into occult knowledge whatever whatever in the home environment it's really facilitating and supportive of all of this stuff playing out okay and this is a possibly going to increase your worth and this is possibly an investor coming in with this eighth house and this is possibly in regard to home or land cancer so you could possibly have an investor related to home and land related topics at this point in time, Aries, that comes back to illuminate, hello, Uranus Sun conjunction, your second house of value, possession, money, okay, and self-worth. So this is something that's growing that through the investment or the transformation or the change, okay? Venus is also here, going to be here for like another uh, couple weeks, you know what I'm saying, a few weeks in Taurus. So she's already halfway through. It's just incredible how quickly, you know, planets move sometimes. It's like, what happened, you know? But uh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. So you're going to have this experience of uh, developing more self-worth and possibly even business uh, moves going on. Congratulations, paying off debts and feeling like you have enough to pay off debts. That's another theme. Um, then that's, you know, it could be financial, you um, windfalls and it could be deep financial wounds so don't make any dramatic shifts right now but it can go either way it's going to be like whoa surprise this or whoa surprise that so let's hope it's a whoa surprise yay and not like a whoa surprise damn you know um kind of thing so um there's just that to be aware of and whatever it is regardless you got to transform you got an eighth house you're transforming you're leveling up you got to meet the situation and level up any way you throw the dice so Wow, that was a lot in a short amount of time, Aries. Uh, just like you like it, damn. Hit that like button, Aries, smash it, smash it. Like a tennis, you know, like boom, boom. All okay. right. <laughs> Thanks to all the Aries who like this video, comment and choose to, uh, you know, apply for Wisdom Drops Astrology School because Aries are fun people. You know, shoot, let's just be real. All right, cool. Aries, thank you so much for all the support. We are going to move right on through to Leo. What up, Leo? How you doing, Leo? How you doing over there? What you got going on, Leo? What is the sentimentation? Leo, is this moon going to be in your fourth house? This is in your fourth house. Wow, what's going on at home? Curious minds want to know, Leo. Curious minds want to know. Is this not going anymore? What is he doing, computer? There we go. Okay. Leo, 
Oh, okay. Well, this is zero degrees, but you can understand that it's in Scorpio. And I just moved this to where you're on the ascendant. I like the interface of this platform. It is what it is. Let's move on, shall we? All right. So Leo, uh, this is, as I was saying, in your fourth house, which has to do with stability, security, um, in, in being rooted in something that is deep within yourself. It's the root of your metaphorical tree that is you. And think about that for a second, Leo. Everything that you stand in, everything you stand for, okay, is rooted in what you stand in. And what you stand in is the fourth house. It's your anchor point. It's the rock at the center of your being that you grow out of as a Leo. All of that is being illuminated right now because of this Scorpio full moon in the fourth house. So be aware that you're being called to transform something there. You're going to have to transform something there more likely than not, Leo. Also around the home, you might find you got to renovate your whole damn house all of a sudden. And you're like, what? You might have black mold that's been hiding underneath the floorboard. And now you got to go and take care of it, Leo, because uh, Scorpio is what is also hidden from sight. And so now it's like coming to light and it's in the context of the fourth house and home. So you might find you got to do some serious transformation, some serious renovation, some serious, um, you might even need to seek investment for the purposes of that, Leo. You might also find at home, like, or a parent, unfortunately, you know, might take a dive, like a real quick transformative dive. And that's echoed because, um, you know, if you have, especially with like a father figure, if they were like the authority, or even if it's a mother who is the more of the authority figure, whoever is the more authoritative parent, you could have a real electric kind of like, damn, out of nowhere, because the 10th house, you're in a son connection here, especially I'm seeing for fathers with this energy, but it could go either way. And, and that being opposing this moon. So just take care of your parents right now. If you're hearing this in advance, Leo, just give them some love, give them some good energy, give them a heads up. Be like, hey, take care of yourself the next month. I'm serious. Don't play any games. Like eat right, you know, eat your leafy greens, lower whatever you're doing that's not good. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just trying to give you a heads up. I've seen this. I've seen this come into play a lot with heart attacks and strokes. I'm going to be frank. So just be Uranus. So just be really careful um around that if you are a leo um you know your parents especially okay so cool that said leo i think like at the same time you'll have some really interesting progressions and leaps and sporadic like boom in your career and this could be a bad thing or a good thing i see these being more of an auspicious thing because venus is here in great dignity right but um i just want to let you know that like there could be some really spontaneous kind of like whoa energy that impacts your career for one way or another and again uranus is the unexpected so you just really don't know but what you do know is it when it shows up it's there you can't deny its presence so there's that to consider but you might be feeling like the need to go even more within yourself leo and really acknowledge the inner place that is your rock within self i see that happening big time for y'all leo so definitely think about that um as we process through this energy also what else do i want to say to y'all I want to say to y'all, this Mars just happened up in your 12th house. You look, you're going to be feeling the need to retreat a lot more. You might be like, I need to get on a global trip now, yesterday. You know what I mean? If that's in your life and in the flow of how the rules and whatever else is going on, great, power to you. Just be careful um, that, you know, it doesn't cause somehow a big transformative thing that you didn't want in that home environment for yourself in some type of way. I don't know how that would connect exactly, but you never know. Don't leave something neglected at home when you go off on a faraway travel, perhaps. You understand? Something like that. Also, um, you know, with this, you're going to be feeling the need to retreat and do spiritual retreat and go into your subconscious. It's going to be happening whether or not you know it's happening. You're just going to be living a lot more. You're going to be a lot more active from a subconscious emotional place, Leo. And again, the more time you can spend at home and in retreat over the next month or in retreat afar and abroad, because fourth house, 12th house, these are the subconscious houses, 12th house is abroad. So, and it's also alone and isolated and detached at home, fourth house, or amidst your inner self, fourth house, the core of your being, you see. So regardless, we're talking about a spiritualized, secluded place, whether it's local or farly not local, right? So like, 
this is um, going to be an energy, Leo, that's calling you to pay more attention to that, that place of isolation. And you're going to gain a lot of subconscious purging insight over the course of the next month and a half. So congratulations in advance on that. That's definitely something that's going to be happening underneath the surface. And if you need to take more of a break from the outside world to go more deeper into more deeply into your subconscious then do it and that can look like to others you're doing nothing but in the reality you're doing a hell of a lot and you know that at a deep subconscious level sleep you might find you have really trippy dreams this is look at all the trines and sextiles coming out of that you're gonna have some trippy ass dreams lately you, i mean like for the next month leo you're gonna be like dreaming like crazy so um just realize that that's gonna be on the horizon and, and go with the flow keep a journal Ooh, keep a journal it's gonna be good whatever comes up it's gonna be really like telling damn like this video leo because you know that was good thank you so much everybody who does like this video comments subscribes and if you want to learn astrology once and for all leo we'll take your glittery shiny self up in our astrology school because y'all got a nice vibe you know what i'm saying leo you know exactly what i'm saying schedule your consultation call today if that is you because we're gonna start in like a month so thanks till next time and through next time May the stars be with you.